Hey everybody, it's Steve at Thousand Year Homes. Welcome aboard. So today I'm going to be doing a little fabrication. So I have these little lights here uh, that I want to hang. Now these are little decorative solar lights. Um, they've got some screws on the back. They are steel, so I know they'll last a little while. Uh, don't know how long the solar lasts. I'm finding I hardly get a year out of solar. Very disappointed. So for a guy who's trying to build a thousand year home, uh, I would pay premium dollars for like 10 year lifespan or 20 year lifespan solar lights. Seems to me like they could come up with them. They've got batteries that have 10,000 cycles now. So just be a matter of sealing it. And these last a long time too. So I'm a bit complex. So uh, taking a look, you know, the, the pipe gate that I have up, uh, the pipes are round. So they don't lend themselves nicely to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fabricate, uh, and I was hoping when I hammered this out it would fit. It doesn't quite fit, and I thought about drilling holes and messing around. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to notch a little V into uh, one end, bend these ears out, and then hook them back in there. Then I have to spray paint everything. After that happens, see this piece here? They'll all go together like that, and then I'll hang the lights on it and spray paint it black. So uh, the horse apparently is going to help me, and then I have an anvil over there, and um, I'm hoping that I'll be on screen while I do the rest of this work. So it's just bric-a-brac stuff. So uh, I thought maybe I could snip them with these uh, snippers, which are super high quality, but um, it's just going to be faster to... Uh, to uh, cut them with an angle grinder. So let's get going on that. So I have four of those to make. So it, it's not feed time. They're just up being curious. Uh, I need to do an update on Blaze. He's such a sweetie now. So I can handle his hooves. Listen, he wanted to kick my teeth in when I first got him. He was truly a, a wild horse. <laughs> and now I've got him broken. And about it took me about nine months. Uh, I think if I wasn't building a house, I'd take the chance to saddle them and ride them. But I don't particularly care to get hurt in the middle of a construction project, so I'm not going to do that. But let me go ahead and, uh, and fiddle with this a little bit, get the right dimensions and all that kind of stuff out of it. Might have went too far.
this idea is going to work just fine. See, I bent over some ears and uh, put a little hooks on them, and then uh, there's where the screw holes are. So I'll put those in, uh, form it up, and bend them over, and then cinch these lights in. And then I know these lights will stay put. So let's go ahead and make some more of these. I need, I need four of these in total. I'm in a little bit of a hurry because my daughter and I are heading towards Houston. So I'm hoping to get this work all the way done. I'm going to go ahead, that, that worked out, I'm going to peen it over a little bit so I could see where the bulge is and then I'll, uh, then I'll cut the notch from there. Now, uh, if I do it that way, I won't uh, bite down in the material here and weaken it. The back will be strong, so let me cut the notch in it now. I'm going to peen it all the way shut to keep the uh, bugs from going in there and make a nest. Next time I'll make the ears a little bigger.
I'll go ahead and I'll uh, put the, uh, just a, one bolt in there to tighten that up so it doesn't fall off. I think I'm okay. Uh, just need to paint these things and put them up there. And I do believe that, that this job is done. And I'm underneath my, uh, my allotted time for my daughter. <laughs> That'll work. Let me go ahead and spray paint them. I have some touch-ups to do up there too, so I want to make sure uh, I use all my spray paint today. <laughs> I'm missing one of these. I need to look and see if there's one left or if I'm just going to have to make do with three. Go look for that. I'll be right back. Here's a little trick. Whenever you're uh, halfway done with your spray paint, 
go like that and then the uh, non spray the gas will blow out your nozzle and keep it a little clean so that um, you should be able to use it again in a few moments all right let me go get that or look for that uh, missing bracket Well, I don't have a, a final one of those after looking around. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, cut this up and use it. I'll make a 45 degree notch in there halfway. Right there rather. dry a minute put the rest of these together 
take them up and put them up. I'm the, of the opinion people won't even notice this little, this one being a slightly different than the rest of them. <sighs> not quite sure if I'm going to do something about that or not. Nice. We'll see how it looks when we lit up tonight. This side looks even better. Let's do this one. We'll do a close up. Well, those look pretty good. They've got a little angle to them, but I'm going to leave that angle. I, I think I like it. I was originally going to straighten them when I get up here, but we'll see. I'll do a little video tonight when uh, if I get home and they're all lit up. Let me uh, let me touch a bunch of stuff up with some paint. <laughs> then I got to get ready, load up a tractor and whatnot. That looks okay. You can't even really tell that one that I made is different than that one. It's different than all the rest. It hardly noticed. Kind of using the paint to uh, keep things together. I think that's cheaty, but I, that is what I'm doing. I, I think I'll have to put screws in there. Is what I think. We'll see after the first storm. <laughs> blows a wind, grabs it, blows it all off. Then I'll know to get serious about fasteners.
All right. A little touch up where things got scuffed. I don't like that hinge being the hunter green. I'm going to make it black. Already a ton of cobwebs on this. <laughs> Spiders do not mess around. They're not even a week old. All right, everybody, it's Steve at Thousand Year Homes. Behind me, you can see I made some solar-powered uh, street lights, uh, decorative style, Victorian era. I like them. They'll go nicely on the farm. They've got the little horses running the mountains. Uh, you know, the raw, it's got a wrought iron vibe. Really happy with that. Uh, just, uh, again, all found materials and re-salvaged, uh, except for the lights. They were f four in a box, and I think I paid $38 for them. We'll see how long they last. Uh, touched up a little paint over here. I've got one more horse where it could put a light. And I think I might do a little uh, different kind of light rather than those two. But uh, enjoying this look. Like, subscribe, follow me along. These are going to look okay. We'll see tonight. I'll do a video tonight at the end of this. Alright, and here's the solar lamps that I got for up there. They do have two modes, color changing and then just white. So they stay uh, lit a long, long, long time. I'm not sure what color I'll do up there. If I'll do color changing or I'll do white, uncertain. But uh, I do like the color changing. Well, there we go. At night, in the light. I could see these uh, about a quarter mile away, even though I'm up here with my truck. I picked up a house. I'm towing a whole house behind me, people. That'll be another video. Very nice. I'm very, very happy. Very happy. That's how dark it is out here. <laughs> dark, dark.